right, all right, all right. What's happening? Yeah. Next team. There we go. What's going on? Who we at? YouTube. Oh, what's up, YouTube? I'm going over to I don't know where I'm at sometimes. What's going on, YouTube? How y'all doing? Happy, happy Thursday. Thankful Thursday. Throwback Thursday. We can call this Throwback Thursday today because we're throwing it back. Got the cameo. I got some vinyl laid out. And I got a weeding tool here. And a box of shirts behind me. And we're gonna be working. Alright, so I walked in, I walked through the process this morning of how I use my silhouette as a beginner. Okay, so if you're a beginner, you're trying to figure it out. Like you probably got a vinyl cutter you're trying to use. And yeah, you're trying to figure this thing out. This is me figuring out again from step one, right? Let's say you're fresh in the game. You don't know what to do here. You got some shirts you need done. The vinyl cutter is what saves me at a lower quantity, okay? Of course, when you get into the position where you start skilling this thing a little faster, higher quantity, bigger clients, you can't do it this way. So this is why I've been away from this a little bit, right? This thing been in the cut catching dust but at the end of the day when you're in a pinch for time let me know if y'all can hear me too man i hope i ain't just talking to myself let me know if you can hear me in the comments let me know if you can hear me i'm gonna have to pull the comments up here when you're stuck for time and you can't really get transfers in time because this is a rush job the school needed tomorrow for a track meet and I was like, yeah, let me just help coach out, man. This is a brother. So I'm over here again, cutting vinyl, trying to service the high school track team, you know? And this is something we've worked with this track team. Maybe that's like the third season. You know, I think it's like the third season I've worked with the track team here. And last year they didn't do anything, right? Because they didn't go to championship because of situation and all of that. But we are here. I'm trying to see if y'all can hear me, man. I can't tell. Okay, if you can hear me, let me know. Very low on your end. My check one, two. Let me know, man. Can you hear me now? Check, 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 check. Check one, two. All right, let's fix that. Check one, two. My check one, two. One, two, one, two. My check, 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 check. Oh, okay. My headphones are not on. That's why my mic is not on. All right. Sounds better now. A little too loud, probably. My bad, y'all. My seemed like my mic was off. Mic was off. Hopefully it's not dying. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. You should be good now. Sorry about that. Going life, what's up? Going life, appreciate you checking in, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you, Stevie. We Malaka, Malaka, what's up, y'all? What's up, Gully Designs? So, yeah, like I was saying, man, like I've been heavy, you know, last couple months, years, been using transfers and just pushing these things right because now the client list has got bigger, you know. Bigger, bigger opportunities, so you can't be cutting vinyl, right? But like I was saying, when you get in a pinch where you got those clients where you just can't turn down because they're a part of your big clients, right? And they're just in a pinch. You can't get transfers in town from TKO, so you have to cut the vinyl. So I had to dust this baby out today. Took it from way up there on the shelf. And we're working this thing out. Of course, I grabbed some Easy Weave vinyl from my folks over there at Any Up Graphic Supplies. Links should probably be down below. Check them out. But this is what I'm doing, man. So there's one thing that I hate about this process, and that's the weeding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me know. Like, that's the weeding. You're laughing. I probably said your name wrong, right? Say it sounds like you're in my room. What, with the cutter bumping? The cutter's bumping. Y'all go ahead and smash the like button one time, man. So I'm over here. I'm weeding. I've got 20 shirts to do, y'all. 20 shirts. And, like... Normally for 20 shirts, I would still get transfers, right? Especially with a design like this. This is a design that I had to put together and all of that. 
you know. But with this design here, I could have ordered transfers for maybe like a hundred of these things, 200 of these things to keep them on stock. Even though I need 20 now, I still would have went ahead and ordered a hundred of these because I know they might not come back this season. They will be back later on in the year. They'll be back next year and I will have them. But I'm still going to put these order, this order in if for transfers, if they were to come back, maybe tomorrow they say, oh, we need more shirts. Then I'm going to place the order. But today I didn't have time, so I'm cutting vinyl. But it's a simple design, you know. So for 20 shirts, yes, I still will order transfers because it's easy and it's faster. But unfortunately, we're here doing this thing this way. What's up, Jesse? What's going on? What you do? G GD photography. G and D photography. What's going on? So I'm over here weeding. And I purposely, I had to go in and play with this design. I did a first live in the Facebook community there. If you're not a part of that, make sure you go ahead and join the Facebook group. It's called Fire Up the Heat Press. But what I did earlier in the live this morning, we went ahead, we set up the design on Silhouette Studio. I was able to set this up, clean it up a bit because I wanted my weeding process to be easy. So you can see all these, all the areas here in the boot. I had to like go in and clean them up because I didn't want like all these, it was cutting dots, it was leaving some jagged edges. So I had to go in and work with the design a bit to make my weeding process a lot simpler. Because I like easy, man. That's what I use transfers because I like things easy. So when my vinyl cutter starts acting weird, I don't want to have to go through all of that. So. What I'm doing here now, still weeding. Let me know, how's your Thursday going? YouTube, folks. And how many people on this YouTube channel or over here that follows me are actually part of the Facebook group? Because if you're not, those are like the extra, that's where the extra gems go down at, you feel me? And then it'll be even better if you're even on the email list so you can get some extra stuff because we have a big project that will be releasing real, real, real soon. I'm trying to keep y'all on your edge. Thirsty Thursday. That's a good one too. Thirsty Thursday. Have a big project coming up. Skilling with a heat press master class. Okay. If you are, if you're in a position where he's like, man, I bought all these goddamn machines. They're not working for me. I just need to figure out a way to market my business a little better. I just don't want to be a graphic expert. I don't want to learn Photoshop. And I, like, I'm tired of working on these machines. Feel me? You need a simpler way. The whole framework and process. It's basically like a four-step process. Four-step formula that's going to... Take you through. I'm taking my time trying to look through this thing and make sure I don't miss anything. It's the worst part when you're working with this vinyl. You go lay this thing down, you realize like, oh no, I didn't weed that part. So I'm in here trying to get my vision on there. Like, oh, let's see. But I think we're good on that one there. And then this part here. So I, I was able to. So this is a the sheet I get from Annie up. So this is a. 12 by, I believe it's 12 by 59 inches, right? So it's like a five yard row. I'm able to fit five 10 by 10 designs on here. So people usually, most people struggle or they waste a lot of money because they really don't know how much vinyl they need for a job. So you'll get the questions like, yo, how much vinyl do I need? Any of you probably attest to this, right? How often does people come into your shop they're trying to figure out, yo, I got this design. I want to do this. I got these amount of shirts. How much vinyl do I need? Sometimes it's as easy as this, y'all. Like, go into the vinyl shop already knowing what size you want your design to be. And then, like, when I was beginning, I used to literally make my design. I know my design is 10 by 10. I would then, like, <laughs> and I know, like, the thing comes in five yards. I would literally write like do it like put a five yard something down mark my table to something put a five yard down and then measure each one right like i got five on here right now and the reason why i was able to get five on here i previously printed three 
and then I printed it two by itself. So I was able to measure this whole thing here and there and say, oh, I can fit five on here. That's how much vinyl I need. So I went ahead and I grabbed five rows. So five rows is gonna give me exactly what I need to get these 20 shirts done, exact. Probably some assets that's gonna be waste because who got time to leave vinyl sitting on the shelf? You know, like, you gotta be exact, man. So if you're able, just spread that thing out, measure it, know exactly what design size is. So when you go into the vinyl shop or you go wherever you am, you're ordering your vinyl from, you're able to like get the exact material you need without the extras or a little less, right? You can always get one row extra. I usually would get one row extra because things like this happen. So this whole sheet here, I left it printing and I walked away, went to do a run or something. I came back, only one printed on here and the other one got jagged. So now I'm down one. So because I have an extra sheet, I'm gonna be all right. Fingers crossed, we won't mess anything up this time, but y'all already know how E do, man. I'm probably not gonna mess anything up. We're gonna speak it into existence. Whoa, Gully, Gully said I did my first YouTube upload. That's amazing, congratulations. Seriously, congratulations on that job well done, okay? I was in a, my mastermind this morning, or the morning meetup, and one of the things that that we talked about this morning, it was actually cool taking a lady through it, was people breaking the fear of uploading things. You know, people know like, oh, I gotta upload to my Instagram, but we literally have people that are afraid. Like that is a real fear, and uploading things onto social media was a big fear for this lady this morning. Like, literally, it was a group of 500 entrepreneurs in there just cheering this lady on because she was facing her fear. Like, the coach was walking her through how to upload her first thing. It, was, it took, like, 30 minutes because she was so afraid to do this thing. But at the end of the day, she's worrying about, oh, my goodness, I'm holding people up. But we were, it's a team of... People that was just cheering her on because we wanted her to get over that fear, right? How many other people are still within that fear of just turning on the camera, just talking to it? You know, like 15 seconds on your story could impact and change a light in your a lot in your life, right? You just have to get over that fear of uploading things. And it's so easy. Now you don't have to do a full length video like this. You don't have to do a live. You literally can just open up the story on your phone. Hey, what's going on? This is Arrestus. This is my first time doing this, so don't hold me accountable. Bye. Simple as that, you know? And even then you take a second, you actually go through the process of posting onto your Instagram page. There's so many of us, like people want to, like I'm talking in a conversation now with a student. They're trying to figure out, hey, how can I get more clients? How can I get bigger jobs? You got to show more results. Like, we got to show bigger results. I mean, like you want to get bigger clients, show more. Like, show results. Like, have, have results. I mean, and your results right now can only be seen on social media, your websites. So you got to you, you gotta get over that fear of posting, y'all. I mean, I'm not saying here you should go ahead and post 20 times a day. At the beginning, if you're scared, I'm asking just post once. <laughs> post one on your on your feed, post one on your story, and that's it, right? And one on your TikTok. These are like 15, 15 to 59 second video. It don't have anything, to, it don't need to have anything to do with shirts. It does not. Like, you can just show people what you are doing today. Like, I can go on Instagram right now and talk about these vinyl on the table. I can turn around and talk about these heat press right here. Check out these heat presses, y'all. I just got them in. This one here is a swing away, A to Z. All right, see y'all. That's content. You just post it, right? So it was interesting to see the, the community help this lady get over that fear this morning. And I thought that was super dope. So congratulations to Gully for getting over that fear of actually uploading something. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. I also had an interview with Fusion TV. Man, I was scared, but it went smooth. 
That's the thing. It, it, you will be scared. There are professionals. I mean, professional speakers, motivation speakers that get on the stage, pastors, whoever. They still have that fear. Okay, they've probably been taking stages for over 10 plus years, but they still get that fear like it was day one all over again. You feel me? So don't, don't, I mean, don't let the fear hold you back. Of course, it's a real thing. You know, we all know that fear is real. You feel me? So just want to encourage somebody today. I should not be cutting this on my table like this, but I can't find my scissors. And... I'm trying not to let it go all the way through. Can't find the scissors, and I need to get things done. So, Nita Rain had the scissors today. No, I don't know where she put it. So I'm just cutting this real thin, trying to make sure it does not go through my thing. Again, I'm using Easy Weed. This is Easy Weed vinyl. And like, I'm just trying to lay them out. I can get a good amount laid out. Then I can go ahead and press them, right? I don't want to be waiting and got to have a good workflow. So that way, I know I have one, two, three, four here. Okay, so these are all done. I like to overlap them a bit there, try not to let them to touch, but they work. So something like that. Just keep my count. And this one will go on top like that. All right. So now we got eight there. That's eight shirts done. I'm going to send the rest to this. And we'll keep going. Okay. So I'm simply just, I'm over here on Silhouette right now. This is the design right here on Silhouette. And I don't have to do too much here. We're going to do the same three. We're going to print three first. So I'm going to do is just send this right on to the cutter. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll jump back over here and weed out some mow. Weeding out some mow. And when we're done weeding, we will. So we should have five on this table. So there's eight there. 12, 13, 14, that'll be 14 there. It'll be, all right. These will give me exactly what I need. I think I have a Zach. So this one right here is my mess up. This is my extra. But one design already messed up on my extra, but I still have one good design there. So we can only have four to mess up one more time. Actually, no more times because we have exact. Okay. Just some of the strategies I like to plan ahead, man. Yo, Rob Beats, what's going on, fam? What's going on? Long time, long time. Appreciate you hopping in here, bro. Over here today with the vinyl cutter. I'm gonna cut this. There's so many tricks of weeding and stuff, right? I usually just like to weed within the text. And it also helps if you have a heated platen, like the bottom of your heat press. But if, if I go and do that now, and plus this is easy weed, right? So like it says, it's easy weed. It's not like glitter or anything where it's tough for the weeding process to actually happen. And the way I've actually cleaned up this design makes it easier to do this. Most times I can weed this stuff without even breaking the vinyl, but who cares? Who cares? So chilling, trying to catch up with everybody. Man, what do you mean catch up with everybody, bro? Why you gotta catch up? I mean, you're doing your thing. We're all doing our thing. 
And me, I'm not catching up. I'm just watching. Just watching. Just watching. Watching, executing. So what are you working on these days, right? I haven't seen you in a minute. Still DJing, I'm sure. Who else haven't I seen in a while? I haven't seen Juan a lot either. I haven't been on YouTube like that. I think I actually... Oh, uh, yeah. Keep the weeding, man. Like I like to. Once I look down at this thing, I like to just pick out as much cavity as I can at one time before even picking up my head or the vinyl, the weeding tool, right? Because you want to execute the timing, right? You feel me? I'm over here just tacking these right up. So the right, the right weeding tool is important, you know? Or a good weeding tool. There's no such thing as like the right weeding tool. Not in my opinion. You just need a good one that is sharp and it... I don't know how people actually weed with tweezers. I see people weeding with tweezers. I feel like it's not sharp enough on the edges for me. So I need a sharp tool. So the one I use comes from any up. I'm gonna sell it in in store. It's just a dental tool too, like simple dental tool. And I'm missing my sheesh, I lost my apostrophe somewhere. I lost my apostrophe. It's the worst. So now I gotta find me. I'm gonna have to fake me an apostrophe here, right? I'm about to fake me an apostrophe. Let's see if we can find the apostrophe in this mess. In this in in this though pieces here we're gonna find us an apostrophe i don't even know i don't think this is it but this will work i'm gonna make sure i put it on the right side on the sticky side of vinyl right that's important when you're trying to copy and paste the worst thing you do is put the vinyl on the wrong way which i believe i just did i'm gonna flip this over yep shiny side should be i think it's the shiny side up this joint compare it it's pretty close I can't tell I can't tell I can't tell we ain't gonna mess with it what I'm gonna do the one design that's messed up that I'm gonna pick put the um pasta fee off of that yeah it sucks it's a DJ and a keeping up with orders nice so we gotta do gotta keep up gotta keep up can't be left behind, we have to keep up. Unless you choose to step back, can't be left back. There's times where I've chose to step back. But you can't stay back too long. Cause then, it's been a long time catching up. You feel me? Now this is the part where it's like, as some made big companies, this is somebody's job. Like they spent eight hours just weeding, sitting down, the little weeding table. I actually have one of those weeding tables that I ordered from stalls or I got from stalls at a trade show. I think I've used it twice. All those equipments we thought would save us time ends up not even getting used. I'm on a mission right now, y'all. I'm on a mission to help 2,000, 2,000, that's my number, 2,000 entrepreneurs find an easy way, start their t-shirt business, grow their t-shirt business without the expensive equipment. I apologize. You don't need the expensive equipment that I had to buy, right? You don't. There's an easier way. You don't need to be overwhelmed. All right, I think I'm cool right here. What I'm doing right here, 
it's not an easy way. This is not easy. This right here, you can't scale your t-shirt business using vinyl. You can do it as a home base type style, like 12 shirts, 24 shirts. But when you start having to scale that thing over two dozen and you got a weed like I'm doing right now, it's stressful. And if it's stressing me out, that means I should have probably told the customer, nope, I can't do it. That's my motive. That's my, my whole mentality, man. If it stresses me out, if I got to think about this order when I'm not even here, then that's stressing me out. I shouldn't have done it. That's how I look at it. Nothing should be stressing you out. You feel me? Nothing should be stressing you out. Yo, next step. What's up, Larry? What's up with you, bro? Oh, this phone. I gotta turn the Wi-Fi off. So, I always wonder, like, how come my phone rang and then my computer rang at the same time? And I recently realized it's because it's on the same Wi-Fi. So I always have to turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone when I'm here or else when the phone rang, freaking iMac rings. And the phone stops ringing and the iMac still rings. It's weird, so. Sometimes I forget to do that and I get caught. All right, boom. It's the other guy. I'm running out of space now because I got a lot more stuff on this table than I should have. I should have put these over there. Those over there. Those over there. Oh, goody, we'll do it right here. But this here was an easy, easy job, right? Not an easy job, but it was an easy come up. I mean, this is an easy come up, man. Like, they rushed it, so of course they're paying the rush fee. You feel me? <laughs> because I didn't want to do it, there's also some extra hidden fees. It's just an easy come up. I'm sorry. It's an easy come up. You said I'm doing that right now. I'm not stressing though. That's good. You ain't stressing. <laughs> you don't need to be stressing. I mean, because when you're stressing, then somebody's got to be paying you for the stress. <laughs> Who paying you for your stress? Nobody. Nobody pays for stress. I'm going to have to move this on this side, y'all, because I need the space. Appreciate if you smash the like button one time on this video. Just one time for your boy. That's all I ask. Smash it. Smash it. Ooh, this one's getting messed up. We can't mess up. This one's getting messed up. Lay it back down, baby. Lay it back down. Lay it down. Uh-oh. Let's back up a bit. Let's take it easy. I don't want to mess that part up. Let's figure out what we're gonna do with that right now. Sometimes you gotta you gotta be a doctor. You gotta doctor this thing. You feel me? You gotta doctor it. When people say I gotta go to school to be a doctor. I doctor vinyl and t-shirts all day. I ain't even had to go to school for that. Shout out to our doctors though, man. We need y'all. Y'all go to school. Oh, come on, come on. I need you to lay it right back down. Lay it right back down. Here we go, baby. There we go. 
Dab in, dab in, dab in. Cool, there we go. Got him. Yo, June. All right, Rob Beats, I appreciate you. I just picked up mines and dropped them off. Why is this trying to come with me? I don't want you to come with me. No. No, stay there. All right, let's take this part out first. Uh-huh, this right here. It is right there. Let's break that part. All right, got him. You just gotta be careful sometimes, mate. It's more like it's accuracy before speed, y'all. I give y'all that McDonald terms all the time. Accuracy before speed. Feel me? It's no need to rush. There's no need to rush. Because if this thing's not laying down, customer will peep. Customers will peep. So this part here, I'm gonna break it off because I'm not sure what side it's gonna end up laying, laying on. See, it's the time that I nobody has. Like, who really wants to do this? Who who in the world really wants to be doing what I'm doing right now? Not nobody wants to do this. I mean, I wouldn't, but I am. <laughs> Cause I have no choice right now. I have to deliver this to the Client. So I'm saying there's got to be every print method has its own cause, its own purpose. There's just some that are easier and more, more profitable, you know, but every print method has its own place. At the end of the day, I like to have the profit in my pocket. I like to have the profit in my pocket. Press more shirts and put the profit in your pocket. That's my rap, right? I'm a rapper now, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I brought this on live because I wanted people to hang out with me as I weed this vinyl. I didn't want to do this alone. Yo, yo, Texas Finest. Boy, you just keep changing the thumbnail on your Instagram, on your YouTube. Every day you put a new picture up, Frankie. It's important, man. You gotta keep keep to one profile pic. It's either a logo or something, so people can relate, like throw some relations or like people. I don't even know what the word. People are able to recognize the brand, right? If you keep switching up, unless you already have a a brand or an audience, people are following you. You can switch back and forth, but or maybe you're not trying to build a brand. But every time I look at your thing, Frank, you got a new picture up, bro. This boot start part is starting to be a little difficult. But what you been up to, Frankie? Long time. What you doing these days? Still doing decals? Doing decals? No, that's... That's what you was doing. That's what you say you was going to stop doing shirts for that. How is that going? What's that going? Oh, that was a lot of assets down there. I just wasted. I didn't even peep that drink. Lay your head on my pillow. All right, we should be, this thing shouldn't be quiet over here. We should have more stuff running through this. So this is three of them on here. Boom, 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 I'm gonna unload this. And all I do, I just flip this baby over because I know I can fit two uh, in the bottom. So now I'm gonna put two here.
You bought a 28-inch U.S. cutter. I have a 28-inch U.S. cutter sitting catching dust. Y'all know that cutter, though, the 721. We started with that cutter. Still have that thing laying around somewhere. Like I shared earlier, I'm going to come back over here real quick because now I only want to do two designs on that paper. I'm going to move this out of the way right there because we're going to come back to that. Instead of doing a whole nother, um, okay, so we're going to send this. Fingers crossed, because last time I did the two, when I came back, one was mangled. So, let's be good. Let's be good. Let's be good, y'all. Let's be good. Let's be good, y'all. Let's be good. Doing decals and shirts. Decals and shirts. I just posted a video on my reels everywhere. <laughs> you probably can't miss it now. And speaking of decals, the kid, when I went to visit TKO Sales, there was a kid there. You can watch the video, but this kid was up on it. We didn't even realize it was his first day. So I went up, they were touring one of their, their um, customer's facility on the boardwalk. Just happened to went upstairs to see their press room. There's a kid there for his first time, first day at work, pressing shirts, using TKO transfers. And I was like, hey, what's this you're using? My man gonna tell me there are decals. I said, nope, decals don't go on shirts, they go on walls. And the owner of TKO, Christian, was like, oh, down south, in the south, they call it decals. So let me know, like, is that a fact, y'all? If you're from the south, you're watching this video, they call decal. They call it transfers decals there. Or does people not even know what transfers is? They just call everything decal. Cause from my understanding, decals apply to like substrates, hard, 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 hard surfaces like walls, cups, stuff like that, right? Plates. <laughs> when I think of decals, I think of stickers. Okay, so I had to tell him like, no, bro, this is a transfer. You learned something good, new today. This is not a decal, but maybe it's a decal. Do y'all call them decals? I'm only talking about the ones that go on the shirts now. The, the, um, the cars, the ones that go on shirts. Do they call the decal where you're from? Because then I need to come visit your town and tell them folks, we got to rewire your minds. Because these are not decals. These are transfers. Plastisol transfers. 15 cents Plastisol transfers. All right, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And these are good. See my technique? Slide up, slide down. Slide up, slide down. Technique, slide down. <laughs> That's my technique, y'all. Decals or stickers. So you seen that interview? Yeah, decals or stickers, right, DJ? <laughs> decals or stickers. But I didn't argue. I was just like, okay. But we're going to change this here now. I'm going to stir that poor kid on his first day at work. I'm telling him he's applying decals on shirts. No, he's applying transfers on shirts on his first day. And he didn't even need that much experience. You just needed to learn how to get the thing straight. He said, yeah, I just need to find the right position. It's pretty easy, though. Yeah, buddy. So I'm trying to tell 2,000 people in this world, go ahead and start with transfers. What I'm doing right now, it's not a good way. Just not. But you might argue, so then why are you doing it? Because it is a tool that gets me out of a tight position and still make profit. It's not easy, because you can see there's a lot more work. Is make sure this heat press is on, because we're about to start pressing. Thank you. 
It's nothing better than having a good workspace, man. A good flat surface you can work on. It's nothing better. I said worse. It's nothing better than having a good workplace. Even you got one of these big tables you can work on. You know, this was supposed to serve multiple purposes. Now it's just we we do interviews on this table. We do everything off of this table. Podcast. I do my podcast with my buddy on here, my own podcast. Everything gets done right in the same studio, bro. It's easier. It's harder to set up things in other rooms, other areas. It's easier to do it right here. I think that side's done. I think we can start pressing these things, baby. Yo, this is stuff that I do and don't even watch the time, yo. Like, when I'm fired up this heat press, this is like what I love to do. So I don't even be thinking about the time. Then when I realize it, like last night, I realized it was like 9.30. I'm like, oh, snap, I gotta go home. But when you're enjoying it, having a good time, who cares if your phone gonna die? <laughs> Let me see some of these comments here. Yep. Decals on vehicles, cups. Yes, that's true. That's like when I asked for a Jamaican beef patty in North Carolina and they hand me a hamburger. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Jamaican beef patty. That's the thing with the beef patties, right? There are some places you'll go to to serve you, serve you beef patties that comes from like Sam's Club or something, like one of them grocery stores. It's not the same, because sometimes I'll be like, oh, I want some Jamaican beef patties, and I go and buy a pack of those. And then when I cook, I'm like, uh, oh, it's not the same. Right? So, it's so a difference between Jamaican beef patties and hamburger meat. Come on, y'all. That's it, Frank. Frank said, TKO, one of the best screen printing transfer company I've ever tried. That's a fact. All right, 10 of y'all on here. Y'all go ahead and smash the like button now. Huh? 10 of y'all on here. Ain't none of y'all smash this like button yet. I'm disappointed. I can't. Oh, I need to get this thing. All right, that's what we're going to do. I need it to be in a spot where I can actually see the comments. All right, let's break out some shirts. Do we weed out everything we're supposed to weed out? Before I even start messing with the shirts, though, I want to be, I want to have a clean surface because I know there's pieces of vinyl hanging around here. So I don't want that to get stuck on something that's not supposed to be on. It's the worst part about these vinyl. looking up in front of me is the I'm looking up because the camera's right there but it's also a big old TV in front of me that I can see myself on so I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame right so I'm looking like oh I look good on that TV too I look good on your TV so I look good on my TV I look good right on that TV it's like no <laughs> all right we're pretty oh it's the part when it sticks to that worse We'll be using the A to Z today. A to Z. A to Z press. Make sure I'm in frame. There we go. We may have to zoom in a little bit once we start cutting. Matter of fact, I'm gonna zoom in right now. Let me put this light back up. Let's zoom it. Let's zoom it. Cut out some of that fluff. Oh, but now I'm going to have to be like this for y'all to see me. You need to see me? Yeah, we're going to have to zoom back out. That ain't going to hold, bro. That ain't going to do it. I can't be walking around here with my head chopped off. That ain't going to do it. We're going to have to zoom back out. This is like sometimes like this, I feel like I need a whole 
like video person. Like I actually think I need a video person. My head is still cut off, but this is cool. You can see my face now. A video person would be cool. Somebody just walk around, follow me with a camera. That'd be cool. But I'm gonna smash the like button since y'all don't want to do it. I can't see the comments now. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's it, Frank. Get those TikToks out there, Frank. I would love to see, see you on camera, knocking out some content. That'd be sweet. Frankie, Frankie Designs. Frankie Designs, you came a long way, bro. You've been in this community. You've been in this Garment Creations community circle for a while, and I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate you. And we've had some fights. We've, we've bumped heads a few times. But you stay around, man. That's loyalty. Appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate you. All right, knocking out some black. Black, 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 black. I done took over the full table now. I ain't got nowhere to lay stuff at. I got a whole nother table there, but I got the recording equipment sitting on it. And yeah, whatever. Let me check. What was our account? I need, let's go back over here to Coach Right. Coach Right is Coach Right. Where you at, Coach Right? We need nine smalls, nine mediums, three large. Nine smalls, nine mediums, three large. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Always have an extra one. Always have an extra one. <laughs> you never know, baby. You never know. You know. You should have an extra one. You should always have an extra one. Because if you're like me, <laughs> you put things upside down, you flip things all around. No bueno. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, don't play. What do I see? What do Ocho means uno mas, uno mas, always one extra. Okay, lay them babies out. Now we need the grande, 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 solo tres grande. Again, doesn't feel like this is my largest. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, extra, goes back up here, got my extra one, you feel me, it's got to always have one extra of each size, you might end up with a whole bunch of shirts that you don't use, so when I had the storefront, right, I never, people was like, oh, what shirt do you stock up in here? I never really like sat down and playing what shirts to put in there. I just always had extra shirts from orders that ended up floating into the shop and we ended up putting them on racks and people thought like we just walk in there and order shirts. I'm like, no, those are all my extra shirts. You can't buy shirts here because I wasn't selling shirts. Never been in the game of selling shirts, right? I print shirts. You feel me? So I feel like that's like one of the hardest. How many larges we supposed to have? Three. One of the hardest part about this thing is like figuring out what shirt to stock up, especially if you have a retail store. I mean, black and whites will always be great, but how many? What other colors? That's how people will fill up their shops. And then because one customer asked you, hey, can you sell shirts? You're like, oh, yeah, we can sell shirts. You go get a ton of shirts and load it up in your shop. Nobody comes to buy it because we're not in the game to sell shirts, y'all. We're in the game to print shirts. There is a difference. 
I don't, I don't mock up none of my shirts because I'm not in the game to sell shirts. I mock up my prints. Making sure this drone is all on here. There's a little space right here, which means we have five here. So we can do this one more time to get all everything we need. So this guy will go back in. And this time we'll do the two. can't see y'all anymore because I need to charge the phone, but it's bugging me that I can't see your comments. I'm going to jump back on here. So you're learning that? Yeah, learn, learn, learn to add one extra shirt, y'all, because it, it, it saves you so much. It saves me a lot. There's many times I've messed up. I mean, there's some times where I mess up and I was like, oh, dang it. Like the other day, remember the other lab was doing, I messed up on the jersey. The funny thing, that never even came up. My guy never even asked. Because like I said, once I get down there to deliver that stuff, he don't be looking at it. I'm not going to purposely mess up on his stuff, but he don't be counting them Jones. I'll count them so I can get paid right, but once I return them, oh boy, don't even be there. He's too... Too busy to be counting shirts. So, let's go ahead and send this to the joint. Oh no, this one should be, yeah, we'll do the three. And then I have one extra large and one 2X in here. What was it supposed to be? Two 2X and one. Yeah, two 2Xs and one extra. So here's the part though. I actually lied to y'all, right? I lied to y'all a little bit because <laughs> The one size, like when I get into the big sizes, I actually don't order extras of those because those are a little bit more expensive. So then I try to be real careful, right? Like my 2X shirts here, it's a 2X shirt. It's a $5, I'm a $6 shirt. I didn't order extras of these. I only order extras from the extra small to the extra large because it's very rare that I even sell these big size shirts. So I don't want extras of that. That's like six bucks just sitting on my shelf. I can afford for like two fifty or two three dollars shirt to sit there because I'm gonna use it next time. Or I mess around and wear it myself. I can't wear these two X three X shirts. I don't order extras of that. So I need two for this order. I have exactly two, and then we have one extra large. You feel me? So each his own man. I just show y'all my process. Sometimes. I lied. <laughs> don't hold me accountable. Just do your thing, order one extra shirt. I don't do it for the extra, extra, extra sizes though. Cause I don't want no extra, extra, extra size sitting on my shelf. Cool, we're ready to press. We're ready to press something cause I need to make some room. So we're gonna press something. Let's start pressing something. To start pressing, I need to move these out of the box because I'm going to take them off and I'm going to drop them right in there. For now, I'm going to throw these right here. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? Y'all go ahead and like this thing real quick, man. Smash the like button for me one time. This mic is weighing me down, so I need to tighten up. He said it's opposite here. What's opposite? DJ, let me know what you're talking about. Let's check this. Um, Check our pressure. Good. Está bueno. Está bueno.
Man, I haven't done this in a very long time. Vinyl? Jeez. Jeez. I gotta remember one of them joints. One of them joints missing the apostrophe. See that? Boom. Just like that. Okay, so there's a lot of 2X to 5X guys out there. Yeah, it depends where you at, I guess. I don't know. Where you at, DJ? What's this, Texas? <laughs> Man, if only those were transfers. <laughs> we'll be almost done with like four album. North Carolina, nice. It's funny, North Carolina. I need to figure out all the states that have, I mean, I, from the analytics, I can tell like in the group and stuff where most of our audience is at and North Carolina is actually one of them because we're thinking planning 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 like a a heat press tour you feel I me mean? so I gotta definitely figure out what city is gonna make sense to be in and North Carolina is on the list of cities to do a workshop in That'll be dope. Hope to see y'all there when these dates start coming out. I'll see all y'all, man. All y'all cities. Coming to a city near you. Boom, ya, ya, boom, ya, ya, boom. I'm gonna press all these, make some room on this table. See, I like to double check, man. Make sure I'm not about to um press anything that's not what you call it, um, weed. Bam, 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 bam. So too many eating places. Oh, I love eating places. I love to eat. Especially y'all fool down south now. Boy, I love to eat out there. Some good greasy food, <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, some good old fried food for your boy. It's good. Really, we got the spammers in the building. The freaky spammers too. Got some, some freaky trolls. You said we city? Can't disclose just yet, DJ. I can't disclose that just yet. I'll let y'all know soon, though. But here's the thing, right? I need some people in these cities to coordinate some of these places that we are going to be at. I mean, so once I announce the cities, I need to find me a lead person in each one of those cities that's going to help us coordinate with venues and stuff. You feel me? So... Let me know. Is your city a good city? What city you in, DJ? Thank you. 
Butter, butter, baby. You say you're small, so it's okay with you? I'm not sure what that means. Instagram story action right here, y'all. Show y'all, this thing's easy. Just turn on the camera. Yo, IG, what up? You on YouTube, look. You on YouTube with me. You are on YouTube with me right now, IG, what up? Working on some vinyl stuff, look at that. Cut all these. You're on YouTube. content you feel me you can always find time for content y'all content creation is key in your business don't sleep on it it's key very very important y'all know this already but y'all don't do it let's see that reel that reel we just posted this thing's easy like this reel i just posted what about a like an hour ago half hour ago it's already at a thousand and one twenty plays. Mm hmm. A bunch of people already like that joint. Look at that. That's the guy. His first day of work. Put him on the spot. I can't even get y'all in there. You feel me? You gotta create content, y'all. And then you're not. You don't. You don't have to create. It's the issue here that that make y'all. Here, here's why people quit doing content. Here's why y'all don't do content. Okay. Because you, you're doing content under the impression that somebody have to come in and buy something for you when you post. You're under the impression that, oh, somebody must hit the like button when you post. So because you're not getting that from folks, right? You're like, eh, don't nobody even see my post. Nobody's liking my product. So you quit, you give up. Because the mentality of you coming in is wrong. You can't be using social media as the place to to make like your sales right off the jump, right? Nobody know you, yo. Nobody know you. So you should be focusing on being known. Being known first. Focus on showing your results first before running to try to sell something, y'all. I mean, that's the issue. You know these things were working with all computers, so you can't be posting and talking about all right, five more left. Go ahead and get it. Ain't nobody gonna see that because you said five more left. You know what I mean? Facebook already know like, yeah, bro, you trying to sell some. We ain't gonna let nobody see this. <laughs> Them bots, they fire up the bots on you. You feel me? That's the one that's missing the, let's put that back. That's the one that's missing the exclamation or the apostrophe. Can't let the phone die. <laughs> the phone. Can't let the phone die. Greenvale. Okay. Said I can't disclose. Yeah, I can't disclose that yet. Oh yeah. Hello, Desiree. That's my daughter's name. Appreciate you popping in. Hey, Drew. Said peace, love, and positive energy to everyone. That's how you come in, dropping that positive energy. Feel me? Dropping that positive energy as you come through. Right through that chat. I love it. Because that's all you see here, man. Positive energy just follows me. I apologize for being positive. Because... 
I run from negative vibes. Like, I run. I will literally run away from you if I get negative vibes from you. You don't got to do nothing. I'm going to run. You stay there, I would go. <laughs> you feel me? Because I ain't got time for the negative vibes. You feel me? So I tell people, nope, stay right where you at. But excuse me, I'm out of here. <laughs> you feel me? And I'd be gone. Because I ain't got time for your negativity, y'all. I ain't come on social to be negative or be beefing. So when I get, when, when y'all start getting like that, your boy be dying on his boots. Just like these track shoes right here. I be gone. I go in hiding for a little bit until y'all get over yourselves. And I say, okay, they're cool now. They all right? They all right? Oh, I'm coming back. Yeah, it's not you, man. I'm scared. I'm the one that's scared. I'm the scared guy here. Because I don't want to. Man, that one was a little messy. That one was a little messy. Something about black and white, y'all. You can never go wrong with a single color black on white. That's why I love these 15 cents transfers, right? Because I can just get, these are not transfers, but that's my game. I mean, I tell everybody, just get black shirts because <laughs> it just looks good. Everything look good on black, y'all. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about here, but I just thought I had that in. You feel me? Double checking, y'all, because I had a few mess ups so over there, I can tell. the part where to weed this and that but before I even throw this one in I'm gonna make sure I have what I need and no extras I'm not counting I need I'm gonna be using all of those how many of y'all you like save these I remember at the beginning right when I first started like maybe pretty earlier in the game I used to save these backings for like no reason, but there's still good things you can do here, right? Let's say if you're doing decals, you can use these as transfer sheets. There's a lot of things you can do with this. So I still like getting an attitude, just piling them up instead of just throwing them in the trash. Cause I got, I used to save these for some reason. Sometimes there's some people where I see in like their work area, they would have like sheets just all over the place. Like people used to stick it on their wall or something. I'm like, yeah, but these can come in handy. So don't be trashing them. Find out how you can use them. What's happening with these, yo? The vinyl, that's what I'm saying. With that one part I was trying to lay back down. I don't think I got it to lay down. So I'm gonna have to repress this. Press this right quick. Cause it's lifted. It's lifted up. The vinyl end up laying on the wrong side. But there is no worries. I just need a Teflon sheet. I have hundreds of Teflon sheets. Like hundreds. And I can't find one right now. I literally have hundreds of these things behind me. And when I need one, I can't find one. Freak. Freak. Está bueno, está bueno, man. You pre-press it a couple of seconds, swing them out of the way, and we'll leave that one right there for now. I 
I remember the first time I used vinyl, I thought like I had to peel it off this backing sheet and everything. I went ahead, started peeling it off the sheet, and then was like, hold on, how do I get this on the shirt now? And I realized like, oh, it's supposed to be on that sheet. The things you don't know when you're starting off, man. But shout out to YouTube. Shout out to all the people that had content out there when we were starting off. Like Transfer Express, them guys had stalls. Those were the people that was helping us out. Like T-shirt help desk. Shout out to Gary at T-shirt help desk. I like to shout out Gary because boy, Gary shit helped me out a lot in the beginning. <laughs> Man. That's when we used to buy all the different designs. Got a ton of templates you're purchasing because you're like, yeah, I need all of this. You start buying all this stuff and it just sits in your computer, bog down your computer. Man, my struggles. Maybe it's just me. I'm the only one I went through that. Sometimes I wish like YouTube could let people talk back to you, yo. I be wanting to hear y'all talk. That's why Zoom is cool. So I'm like, damn, I can't hear y'all talking to me. Meet me in Zoom. Say, can we see the shirts? I'll show y'all the shirts. Y'all didn't see the shirts? Let me show y'all in a second. The next one. We'll see the next one. And the next one. And the next one, there's the design. And here we go again. Ooh, let's see. Go, dope, bright, boom. Track and feel. And the whole time, they had a whole nother idea. Like, no, we want this, we want this. They wanted to put the tradition doesn't graduate on the back of the shirt. I'm like, come on. I don't want to do just that on the back of the shirt. How can I convince these folks to fit it all in the front? And I did. Imagine I had to put one line of vinyl in the back of the shirt. Like, I hate that. I hate doing names on the back of stuff. Like, I hate that. But I was able to convince them. Let's throw it all on the front. You know? Like, oh, all right, cool. Once you tell them, oh, you know, it'll be more expensive. If you don't want to do it, just raise the price. I mean... Then, oh, I can't get one line on the back? That one line is going to cost you $10. You still want to do it? You mean $10 for all of them? No, $10 a shirt. You still want to do it? Oh, no, no. Just go ahead and put it all in the front. Like, I'm not going to. I mean, you got to set up yourself. Set up your life. Set up your business. Don't set up yourself. Be over there trying to put one line in the back of a shirt simply because somebody wants to be, you all in the same team, but you want to be traveling and somebody can know your name. Get out of here. I don't like nothing in the back of my shirts, yo. I just, I don't know. It's just me. I don't do back prints too much. Customer want the back print, and you're willing to pay that extra placement fee, which is different. It's different sometimes, depending on how I feel. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's different depending on how I feel. If I don't want to do it, mm-mm-mm. It's going to cost you $15. $15? Yeah. Oh, never mind. You know you got to make the rules, y'all. I told you, if it's going to stress you out, skip it. Refund it. Refund it. Because we're doing this because we love it, right? We're doing this because we have passion for it. Oh, nobody holding up my passion. 
Talking about you can't do this for me. I can't do that, bro. And people don't like to hear that. Say, how come you? What do you mean you can't do this? You got heat press. You got all the equipment. You just flip it over and put the name on the back. It ain't that easy, baby. It's not just flipping it over and putting the name on the back. It's not. So, if you knew how to do it and you think it was that easy, why you come here? You know, just me. This one was heated. Sometimes I forget. Those are our smalls, right? Those are our smalls. Smalls are done. Just like that. Those are our smalls. I apologize. That was that was not cool. Am I still watching? Why am I watching this video? Where's the... You know what? I'm gonna do something here. Because... Content... Lives... Does it show the live that's on now? No, it doesn't. Okay. I was trying to edit something. Okay, let's go. Time for medium. We'll do these three mediums and then we'll weed out some more vinyl. And then we'll figure out if we need to cut the rest of that vinyl. I'm, throwing, I'm I'm tired of talking now, y'all. Y'all see, I'm, I ain't even, I'm burnt. I'm burnt. I'm tired. I'm thirsty now. We got some water. Send me some water. Because I'm so used to talking to myself, sometimes I forget that I'm even on camera. <laughs> That's me keeping it real. Like, sometimes I forget that the camera is on and I'm doing it live when I'm on a Video, yeah, I just forget because I just be talking to myself all the time. Boom. One of mass. Actually, we have this one here that we still need the, that's the apostrophe for. Let's see if I can snatch an apostrophe off of here. That's if it even made it to there. Ooh, it did. No, it didn't. Damn it, I can't even use that. Sucks. 
I be wanting to go live on IG. Like, uh, eh, she go live on IG. Then I realize, like, oh, you can't go live on IG from a camera. You gotta do it from the phone. I'm trying to not go live on my phone anymore. Sometimes these shirts, yo, your shirts don't be straight, yo. Like, these shirts do not be straight. You can't trust the line that comes into these shirts from the company. These shirts do not be straight. You gotta straighten them things on your own, y'all. Shirts do not be straight. And don't go with the tag. Talking about, oh, that tag is centered on there. False. Most of the time, the tag is never centered on there. Never. Can't even go with that. You go with that, you're stuck. After this, I ain't gonna keep y'all, man. I'm gonna figure the rest out on my own. I'll probably jump on the Facebook group to have somebody keep my company. But I'm gonna let y'all go after this. Feel me? So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You can smash the like button one time. You know, if you're watching this on the replay and you're still at this point in the video, you're a real one. You're really trying to learn something here. So I appreciate you for sticking around this long. But until next time, make sure you subscribe, follow, do all the stuff that we ask you to do these days. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.